Are you ready to transform your chicken coop into a true egg-laying machine? Today, we're diving into the fascinating world of the California gray chicken, a breed that, while perhaps not as famous as others, holds genetic secrets that will simply amaze you. We know the California gray is a robust, adaptable bird with a very distinctive barred plumage, resulting from clever crosses that include the popular leghorn. But have you ever wondered what would happen if we took this to the next level? What happens when we cross a California gray rooster with a white leghorn hen, knowing that the California gray already carries some of that leghorn genetics in its veins? It's an intriguing question, isn't it? Would we get a super layer? Would their best traits be amplified? Or might we find genetic surprises? Get ready to discover the result of this beautiful and productive cross that could revolutionize egg production in your backyard. Stay with us until the end, because the answer will truly fascinate you. The California Gray didn't just appear out of nowhere. It's the result of a strategic cross between two pillars of poultry farming, the barred Plymouth Rock Rooster and the White Leghorn Hen. Imagine combining the best of two worlds. On one hand, we have the White Leghorn Hen. What makes this bird so special? Well, she's the true queen of egg laying. Her name is synonymous with massive production of white eggs, with hens capable of laying over 300 eggs a year. What's more, they're agile, energetic, and have an incredibly efficient metabolism that converts feed directly into eggs. They are the foundation of the global egg industry, a real production powerhouse. On the other hand, the Bard Plymouth Rock Rooster comes into play. This male is not only visually impressive with his distinctive black and white striped plumage, but he also brings invaluable qualities to the cross. Plymouth Rocks are known for their robustness, good size, and a much calmer, more docile temperament compared to the restless leghorn. They are resilient birds, with good body conformation that makes them suitable not only for egg production, though to a lesser extent than the leghorn, but also for meat. When a rooster with that strength and docility mates with a hen with such incredible laying ability, what do we get? The magic of genetics gives us the California Gray. This hybrid breed inherits the resilience and balanced temperament of the Plymouth Rock, along with a substantial improvement in egg production thanks to the leghorn's genetics. It's the perfect balance, a hardier bird than a pure leghorn, but with exceptional laying. Now that we know their illustrious parents, we're ready to explore in detail all the fascinating characteristics of the California Gray itself. Don't miss what's coming next. The California Gray isn't a pure breed. Instead, it's an exceptional hybrid that results from a strategic genetic combination between the two breeds we mentioned earlier. The main goal in creating the California Gray is to combine the most valuable characteristics of both parent breeds into a single animal. The aim is to merge the prodigious egg-laying ability of the Leghorn with the greater hardiness, calmer temperament, and better meat yield of the Plymouth Rock. The result is a bird that surpasses its parents in certain specific aspects, offering a more balanced and efficient solution for both home and semi-industrial production. The most outstanding feature, and one that allows you to identify the California Gray at first glance, is its barred plumage. This means their feathers display an alternating pattern of black and white stripes, which is a very attractive and functional aesthetic trait. This pattern is a direct inheritance from the barred Plymouth Rock Rooster, which carries the gene responsible for this coloration. It's plumage that gives them a classic, easily recognizable appearance in any chicken coop. The barred pattern of the California Gray is possible thanks to a dominant gene present in the barred Plymouth Rock breed we mentioned earlier in the video. When this Plymouth Rock Rooster is crossed with a white leghorn hen, which lacks this barred gene, the offspring predominantly inherit and express this pattern. This ensures that the vast majority, if not all, of the chicks hatched from this cross will exhibit this distinctive characteristic, making them easy to identify from a very young age. One of the most valuable and cost-effective advantages of the California Gray is its ability to be autosexed at hatch. Thanks to the sex-linked genetics of the barred gene, breeders can distinguish the sex of the chicks on the very day of hatching simply by observing their plumage. Male and female chicks show subtle but consistent differences in the intensity and pattern of their birth markings. This is crucial for producers who need to separate sexes early, optimizing flock management and reducing costs. While they retain the barred pattern of the Plymouth Rock, the plumage of adult California grays often has a slightly more diffuse or grayish tone compared to the sharper, more contrasting barring of a pure Plymouth Rock. This is due to the influence of the leghorn genes, which can soften the intensity of the white and black, resulting in a more ethereal and distinctive overall appearance that sets them apart from their progenitor. It's important to know how to differentiate a California gray from a pure barred Plymouth Rock. California grays typically have finer, more uniform bars with a more general grayish hue. In contrast, pure Plymouth rocks exhibit a bolder bar pattern, with a more distinct contrast between bright white and intense black, and the bars are usually wider and more clearly defined. These differences, though subtle, are key for connoisseurs and breeders, 
An interesting genetic detail is that California greys often retain the white earlobes of their leghorn parent. This contrasts with the red earlobes that are typical of the Plymouth Rock breed. The presence of white earlobes in a barred hen is a clear indicator of leghorn heritage and helps confirm its identity as a California Grey hybrid. At the heart of the California Grey's appeal is its exceptional egg production capacity. These hens are true laying machines, inheriting the prolificacy of the leghorn. Their laying cycle is consistent and abundant, making them an ideal choice for any poultry enthusiast looking to maximize fresh egg production at home or on a small scale. California Greys specialize in laying white-shelled eggs, a highly sought-after characteristic in many markets and preferred by many consumers. This shell color is directly inherited from the white leghorn hen, which is the quintessential white egg layer in the global poultry industry. Consistency in egg color is a commercial and aesthetic advantage. In terms of quantity, a California Grey hen can lay between 270 and 290 white eggs per year under optimal conditions. This figure is remarkably high and positions them among the most efficient layers available for home and semi-industrial breeders. This sustained productivity is what truly makes them an egg machine. The impressive egg production of the California Grey puts it in a position to rival, and even surpass, the production of pure leghorns in many backyard contexts. While pure leghorns are industrial champions, the California Grey combines almost equal production with the added benefits of hardiness and temperament, making them more adapted for less controlled and more varied environments, like a backyard coop. California Greys are medium-sized birds, which makes them versatile. Their purpose is twofold. They are excellent egg layers and also offer a good option for meat at the end of their productive cycle. This balance makes them particularly attractive for those looking to maximize their flock's output without having to keep separate breeds for each purpose. Physically, the California Grey has a more robust build than the slender pure leghorn, thanks to the influence of the Plymouth Rock. However, they are still lighter and more streamlined than a pure Plymouth Rock, which is a considerably larger breed. This intermediate build gives them an ideal combination of agility and resilience, adapting well to different management systems. One of the greatest benefits of this hybrid is its temperament. California Greys are known for being docile and calm, much less nervous and temperamental than pure leghorns, which can sometimes be a bit flighty. This calmness, inherited from the Plymouth Rock, makes them easier to manage in the coop, reduces stress on the birds, and makes the experience of poultry keeping much more pleasant. The California Grey is a hardy and very adaptable breed. They are capable of withstanding a wide range of climatic conditions and perform well in both intensive housing systems, caged, and free-range pasturing systems. This adaptability makes them a reliable choice for breeders in various geographical regions and with different infrastructure capabilities. At the end of their productive egg-laying cycle, California gray hens reach an average weight of between 2 to 2.5 kilograms, 4.4 to 5.5 pounds. This weight, while not that of a broiler, is significantly better than a pure leghorns and provides a reasonable amount of meat for home consumption, adding value to the investment in these birds. California gray roosters are even more robust, weighing between 2.5 and 3 kilograms, 5.5 to 6.6 .6 pounds. While not primarily bred for meat, this weight gives them good potential for consumption, offering an additional option at the end of their useful life, especially for those roosters not selected for breeding. The commercial value of the California Grey is very high. They are an exceptionally efficient option for producers and hobbyists seeking a high-performing white egg layer, but with the added benefits of being autosexable at hatch, having a more docile temperament, and offering better suitability for meat. They are a smart investment to maximize production at any scale. Now that we've laid the groundwork with the California Grey and its fascinating origin, let's move on to the question many of you might be asking. What happens when we cross a California Grey male with a white leghorn hen? It's an intriguing combination, isn't it? After all, the California gray male already carries that leghorn heritage we've talked so much about in his genetics. This type of cross is known as a back cross in genetics, where a hybrid, the California gray, is bred back to one of its parent breeds, the leghorn. The primary goal of this pairing isn't simply to get more chickens, but to maximize the high laying characteristic, seeking to create a bird that is, in essence, a super leghorn, but with the added advantages of hardiness and adaptability that the California Grey lineage brings. The resulting chicks from this cross will be predominantly white, inheriting the dominant color of the leghorn. However, it wouldn't be unusual for some to show small black spots or specks in their plumage, especially when they are young. These markings are a remnant of the California Grey's barred heritage, though not as pronounced as in the California Grey itself. In terms of their size and conformation, these chicks will grow into medium-sized birds, a bit more robust than a pure leghorn, but still maintaining that slender, efficient-laying silhouette. The plumage will be mostly white, 
which makes them very commercially appealing, as white-laying hens are in high demand in many markets. But most importantly is what these chicks promise, in terms of productive performance. The intention is for them to inherit the amazing laying ability of the leghorn, possibly even surpassing first-generation hybrids due to this double dose of high-laying genes. Furthermore, they are expected to retain some of the docility and resilience of the California Gray, which would make them easier to handle and more adaptable to various conditions than pure leghorns. So if you're looking for a hen that's a true champion in white egg production, with enviable hardiness and a manageable temperament, the chicks from this cross are the ones you'll be interested in. Get ready, because next, we'll break down the productive characteristics that make the California White an exceptional option for your chicken coop. The California White Hen is a highly valued hybrid in poultry farming for its impressive laying ability and adaptive qualities. The California White is not a pure breed, but rather a hybrid chicken. This means it's the result of a deliberate genetic cross between two different breeds, carefully selected to combine their best attributes. Hybrids like the California White are developed to optimize specific characteristics, in this case, large-scale egg production and robustness. Their genetic design aims for hybrid vigor, which often results in birds that are hardier and more productive than their pure parent breeds. This remarkable bird was developed in California, USA during the 1930s. This period was significant for poultry farming, as genetic principles began to be applied to create more efficient poultry lines, an approach popularized by the success in crop hybridization. The California White was one of the hybrid lines that emerged from this era, seeking to meet the growing demand for more consistent and profitable egg production. The primary purpose of this cross was to combine the strengths of both parent breeds. The California Gray Rooster contributed its robustness, adaptability, and a strong, healthy constitution, essential characteristics for birds that require resilience in diverse environments. On the other hand, the White Leghorn Hen contributed her exceptional egg production capacity, a trait for which she is world famous. The result is a prolific layer that is also resilient and manageable. Although its plumage is mostly white, the California white may occasionally show small black spots or flecks dispersed in its feathers. These markings aren't a defining or required standard characteristic, but they are a vestige of the California gray's heritage, which is barred, and should not be extensive. They are a little nod to its hybrid lineage. The white plumage of the California white makes her particularly attractive and very well accepted in the European and American markets. In these regions, white-plumed laying hens and white-shelled eggs are often preferred by consumers and industry standards, giving them a significant commercial advantage. The California white is a medium-sized bird, but with a strong and healthy constitution. This intermediate size makes her hardier than a pure leghorn, contributing to her resilience and adaptability while still being slender enough to maintain superior efficiency in converting feed to egg, unlike heavier dual-purpose breeds. As for her comb and wattles, the California White has a single, well-developed comb, which in active laying hens is usually a vibrant, turgid red color. Her earlobes are white, a trait commonly correlated with the laying of white-shelled eggs, inherited directly from the leghorn. Her legs are yellow and her skin is white. Yellow legs are a desirable trait in many poultry, often associated with a rich diet and good health. White skin, like the plumage, is also preferred in some meat markets, although the primary value of the California White is egg production. While its main value and specialization lies in egg production, the California White is considered a dual-purpose bird. This means that at the end of their productive laying cycle, they can be used for meat, offering additional value. However, their medium size indicates that their meat yield won't be as significant as that of specialized meat breeds. The California White is a high-production layer, notable for her incredible volume of eggs. On average, a hen of this variety can lay over 300 white eggs per year. This figure places her among the elite of laying hens rivaling the most commercial hybrid lines and making her an excellent choice for meeting the fresh egg needs of a home or small farm. Consistently, the eggs laid by the California White are white-shelled. This shell color is a direct inheritance from the leghorn. In addition to being prolific, California Whites produce large to extra-large eggs. This size is ideal for home consumption and is highly appreciated in the commercial market, as larger eggs typically fetch a better price. The California White is known for her early sexual maturity, beginning to lay eggs between 18 and 22 weeks of age, which is approximately 4 to 5 months old. This rapid start to laying is a great advantage for producers, as it allows for quicker return on investment and maximizes the active production period of the bird. In upcoming videos, I'll be talking more about this wonderful white egg production line, as there are many more characteristics of the California White to discover. And so, we've reached the end of our fascinating journey through the world of poultry farming. We've unraveled the secrets of the California Gray, that fundamental breed that, though sometimes underestimated, is a true genetic gem. We understood how its crosses with the Leghorn not only defined it, but also gave rise to the efficient California White. 
We've learned that the California Gray is much more than just barred plumage. It's the foundation of the robustness, adaptability, and balanced temperament sought in high-performing laying birds. It's thanks to its lineage that hybrids like the California White can be egg-laying machines, gifting you over 300 large white eggs every year, without sacrificing hardiness or ease of handling. The California Gray is, in essence, the backbone of this exceptional productivity. If you dream of transforming your chicken coop into a true egg machine, with resilient, low-maintenance birds, you need to understand the immense value of the genetics that the California Gray brings to this process. It's the key to a more productive and harmonious chicken coop. Your opinion matters. We hope this information has been as useful and exciting for you as it was for me to prepare. If you learned something new, or inspired to explore California Gray genetics in your own chicken coop, or simply enjoyed this content, we want to know. Leave us a comment below and tell us what you thought about the central role of the California Gray, if you already knew about her, or if you have any questions. Your interaction drives us. Give this video a good like if you found it valuable. Every like helps us reach more bird lovers like you. Share this video on your social media. Help us spread this valuable knowledge so more people can optimize egg production in their homes. And of course, if you haven't already, subscribe to our channel. Hit the notification bell so you don't miss future videos, where we'll continue to explore the wonders of the poultry world. Additionally, we've launched our first poultry course where you'll learn everything about the genetics of our laying hens. Look for the course link in the video description. Your support is fundamental for us to continue sharing our passion and knowledge with you. To your success, fellow breeder, until next time.